and welcome back to the channel if you are new here i am sunny and today i am going to show you how to build a blazing fast full text search api using fast api and elastic perfect for real world apps like blogs e-commerce or even document search engines by the end of the video you will be able to index a content search it instantly and connect to elastic search with just a few lines of python code Let's start with setting up our project. So I have created a folder called Fast API Search API. Okay. After that, a folder will be created. Now we will need to go inside this folder. We will create a virtual environment now using Python hyphen m v n v v n v you can uh, see a virtual environment is actually created now we will activate it using source command source vnv slash um here bin works so source vnv bin slash activate now we have activated our virtual environment as you can see after that we will need to install some uh, uh, packages which are needed for this our uh, fast api elastic search and uvcon to run the engine so for that we need to install pip install fast api elastic search and uvcon oh yeah now it is working so we have uh, packages and everything now we need to freeze it so that you can use it too i will freeze it you can install it using pip install hyphen r requirements.txt So we have everything. We have version one. That we will also use Docker to spin up Elasticsearch locally. Actually, I have added this this Docker Compose .yml. This is a configuration, basic configuration for Elasticsearch with a specified version. Ah, uh, now uh, there are simple commands to make the Docker Compose up and down. Now I will use Docker Compose up to make this container up. So which will be visible here in the container sections. for compose up it will automatically start pulling the image and all it's fast because i have already uh, pulled this image in your case this might take few minutes so once that is running then we can create main.py so let's uh, set up a basic fast api server using fast api now we will have from fast api import fast api from that we can have now let's create a api to test this that this is <coughs> we can create something all root and here we can have message and we will return fast api plus elastic search working okay so we will uh, use uvcon to start this uh, server so there is a command called uvcon uvcon the file name is main and we have created app we want to make it in the reload if we will make any changes then it will automatically reflect oh, now this is fine we will run the server you can see that server is running now we will go here ah uh, we can see that fast api plus elastic search is working now we will try to connect it with the uh, elastic search now there are two servers elastic uh, search is a different server and our main.py is running on uvcon on a different server from elastic search we are importing elastic search and uh, we will initialize this using this and we will uh, put the host like http http colon slash slash local host and then 9200 this is the port on which 
that Elasticsearch image is actually listening to. After this, we can create a ping command so that we can ping and check the status of this container that the connection is established or not from this server to Elasticsearch server. So we will create an API called uh, uh, ping ping es. Okay, let's create it, and we can have a function. And then we can return the status so that would be ping and uh, there is a function here okay so uh, we are checking the two status of the elasticsearch if that is connected to the main.py we will go here and we need to type in slash hyphen es a connection is uh, established Now let's add a route to index some content. Okay. Uh, we will add it in the main.py only. So we will import from pydentic import base model. Now we will create a class called document with the base model. Uh, with some attributes called title string this would be string and let's create content this would be and we will create an API and let's name it index okay index and we will create uh, index dot document and then we want in what type we will validate it with this one and then let's create a response uh, with that elastic says dot index we are going to index this uh, document with the index equal to what is the name let's name it docs and uh, document equal to doc dot dict okay so this will actually like the index the document in the elastic search and then we will return that yeah this is uh, successfully done and this is the id for it we can create an object and uh, let's put something called result okay result and we will get result from here and we will put a id and let's return the id from res and that is i guess underscore id okay uh, we have the api ready now we need to test it so here it is raising some error that okay i am using it as a this is the method actually in that class okay i think it will be done now yeah okay uh, now let's uh, post documents like blog post or product description and we can test it with the swagger we just need to go to the docs now here uh, we can see we can try it out we can set the title we can set the description and all so we can set the title first api and content today we are learning first api with 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 integration integration to last six years. okay we have everything now we will execute this Uh, something is breaking I guess it is saying that result ID okay I think I have missed something here okay uh, that's cool not an issue okay we have everything running now we will go here and we'll try to execute again 
uh, you can see that result is created and we have an id okay now uh, let's add a search route that matches text from the content field like whatever we have given and we need the results from that also right uh, so for that we will create a different api uh, the indexing is already done we will add an api to search from it so now let's create an api called search let's create an api called search and um, search and let's take a query from the user whatever they want to search it for now we are searching from docs indexing and all we will add a query also we will add a query that this matches match and we want a match okay from the content right from the content and that would be query this doesn't need to be string as we are passing it dynamically now we need to return the results also so we will use return and we will use something called hit sources as whatever the results are there we need it so for that we need to first of all loop through it okay for hit in <coughs> now we have the hit we want it in a proper structure and we want the sources okay so i want from it this one source okay uh, this can be expanded to several lines also but i have put it in a single line okay now we will go to the search one uh, let's go to the postman uh, uh, let's go to the swagger again and let's go here and type some query like whatever we put it earlier right uh, that we are learning elastic search and all so we will put it here like learning now we will execute this you can see that there is uh, a like title is fast api there are two results as i have indexed it two times as first one was the error and second time that was a successful result so like you can see the results here let's uh, let's index everything up and everything work properly let's go to the index and try it out and say something called uh, elastic search uh, elastic search and we need docker to spin it up okay so you can see that it is indexed now i want this with the query now when i will go to this one uh, search one and when i will put here it should return me the result you can see that the r result is here and it it is much more faster right so like the here in this video we just build a real world search api using fast api and elastic search in under 15 minutes this kind of system powers search bars on uh, news websites, marketplaces, and even internal tools. Uh, in the next uh, video, we will expand this to include file upload with Minio and full text search inside documents, whatever you have upload, uh, uploaded. If you found this uh, useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. What you want me to build next, happy coding. And I will provide the links of the GitHub repo, Elasticsearch, Docker Docs and Fast API in the description. Please check it out. Thank you so much.